Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I have a mini misguided haul. The first thing is the infamous Instagram tank that everyone is wearing on Instagram. It's a basic white tank top, everyone has this, but this particular cut has been circulating around Instagram. This top I actually got from Urban Outfitters that I explained in my last video is a version of this. However, this was the exact one I wanted this entire time. When I made my last video, I was like searching for another version of the top without actually getting the exact top when all along I should have just gotten the top I really wanted instead of just wasting time. In any case, I'm happy with the top I'm wearing, but I wanted this white one in particular. I just like the cut. It's not a complete muscle tee or tank because I, I wouldn't call it that. It has a slight scoop on the outside and it's just it's just super trendy right now. It's just super 90s looking and I already wore this to the zoo earlier this week with a cute oversized leather jacket. If you saw my Instagram picture, I'm wearing it there and I just layer it with a few gold pieces I have and then it's just it's the outfit. It's so good. And honestly, when I wore this tank, I really wanted to style this with straight leg, loose fitting jeans, but I actually don't have any loose fitting jeans at the moment. I just wore my regular skinny jeans, but it still worked with the oversized jacket. It was still like so good. So this is my favorite, favorite tank ever. And I love it. I got it in a size US 4, UK 8. It feels soft and slinky and yeah, I just like that. It's just that nice ribbed material. More on the Vicro side, not so much on the cotton side. I'm gonna wear it so much and you're probably gonna get sick of me wearing it on Instagram and on YouTube because like it just goes with everything. It's so perfect. And you guys, this was only $6. It's probably one of the cheapest tops I've ever gotten but also the most loved already, the most versatile. It was just such a good I'm so in love with it. I have it linked below, but I hope it's not sold out. But in any case, they seem like they had a bunch of different colors and a bunch of different styles on there. And hopefully if they are sold out, they'll come out with it again. I loved it so much. And I also had to get it in black, <laughs> of course. I think I love the white more. Black and white is always so versatile. And I mean, I do wear black and white like a lot. But yeah, like if I were to choose one, it would be the white one. This cut in general, like no matter what color you have of it, it, it just looks good. I know it's just the cut right now that's like the most interesting part of this tank top. I pretty much wouldn't get any other colors than, than black and white at this point anyway. The cut is so fabulous, it, it just goes with anything. It washes well. I'm definitely going to wear this with some layered gold jewelry and my black leather jacket again. But yeah, like you just really can't go wrong with this black tank and this white tank. This is the most excited I've been about clothes in a while, you guys. Like these tanks are like everything to me right now. And again, got it for the same price, same size, uh, US 4, UK 8. Next thing is this fanny pack. Oh, you guys, I wanted this fanny pack for so long, but I couldn't, like I was just searching a bunch of sites and all sites I was looking at didn't really have like a good one that I really wanted. Yeah, like no matter what price. So I just really held off on it for a while, but I'd wanted to wear it like the across the body way that like everyone had been wearing it on Instagram. I love that it has two side pockets, a mini front pocket, and of course the largest pocket that can fit the phone, which is good. I have an XS Max, so the, the 10, um, and it fits that perfectly. Well, let me just stuff it in here. Yeah. <laughs> It fits in there perfectly. And yeah, and I can just wear it like this. I'm mostly just gonna wear it across the body because that's like the fashionable way to wear it right now. So I'm gonna do that. But yeah, I like that the side pockets are big enough to fit a chapstick as well. And my phone and wallet can both fit in the big pocket. Otherwise, if I just carry a credit card, I can put the credit card like in this front pouch. So yeah, really spacious and roomy and doesn't smell like that bad leather smell. Cause it is faux leather, but like it doesn't smell bad or will give you a headache or anything. So I'm very happy with that. And I just, I love the design of this so much. Like it looks so expensive and it's like not. And I love the buckle detail. Like I wanted this one in particular because I could just, you know, take it on and off, which is great. Cause other ones I looked at like were like, like a belt loop, you know, where you have to undo it and stuff. And I was like, I don't want that. Like I just want to clip it on and and I like that it's adjustable. And yeah, everything about this is just the perfect find for me. So yeah, I'm gonna wear it with the white tank and I'm gonna wear it with dresses. And I mostly wanted to get this to wear it 
with things that if I don't have like a pocket on my pants, because some of my leggings don't have pockets, which is annoying, and sometimes it's too hot to wear a jacket, so I'm like, oh, but I, I still need to carry my phone and my keys, like that's all I need. So this was the perfect solution because then I can also be trendy and have everything I need. Most of my leggings that I have actually have side pockets in it, which is amazing, and I never have to carry a purse. You guys, I'm kind of over purses, like I don't own a purse anymore. I sold all my purses or just donated them but yeah like I ran into the dilemma of not having a pocket on my leggings and I'm like oh no what am I gonna do the fanny pack was the perfect solution and I just I can't wait to wear it I'm gonna wear it this weekend for sure but I love this so so much I can definitely wear the fanny pack with this dress uh, first of all I just love that this dress is like a muted cream like if you look at it in person you might think it's yellow but it's actually like beige cream and white so I'm really happy about that it is spaghetti strap detail with the with the straight across the chest it has like a little kind of ruffle detail at the bottom but not so roughly that it's obnoxious so yeah this dress wasn't my first choice but it's closest to the design aesthetic I wanted honestly I could have done without the ruffles at the bottom but I actually don't hate it I think it looks cute the only thing about this dress is that it is super super sheer like normally I wouldn't wear a bra with the dress because especially with straps this thin they would show through and like you can probably see it in the try-on portion but it's so thin that I I didn't even wear underwear in the try-on honestly I didn't want you to see my underwear like I don't know if you can see anything else it's so sheer it's so thin so it's perfect for a hot summer day I pretty much don't own any dresses anymore I only have one silk cami midi dress that I wore actually like in my last video. That's the only dress I have. I really wanted a, a mini dress because I've seen everyone wearing it. I hadn't worn a dress like this in probably ever. I just really liked the idea of it and I, I can wear it with sneakers, I can wear it with boots, I can wear it with sandals. Mostly sneakers because that's how I dress. <laughs> I just think this dress is the perfect addition to my wardrobe because it's just a muted cream gingham kind of pattern color but it's not like loud. I can just see myself wearing this in so many ways so I'm really excited to wear this style this and take pictures in it and lastly as you know I love pink <laughs> and I really wanted a pink oversized sweatshirt for like months now and I finally found a great one on misguided it is this it's so cute I just love this pink light miss piggy color it's perfect and it's very oversized I actually got a US size six yeah a six on the model it was oversized so I just went one step above my normal size and I'm glad I did because I wanted it extra oversized the only thing I don't like about it is that it actually says misguided it says the logo on it like, honestly I just wanted a plain pink oversized sweatshirt this is a great compromise and the, the text is hardly noticeable it's like so tiny so it's fine I love this and I actually wanted to, I was thinking of wearing it like the bougie way you know with like the sweatshirt around the shoulders if you ever saw pretty in pink I feel like all those preppy kids like always wore sweaters or sweatshirts like on top of the shoulders so I was actually really thinking about doing that or just carrying it you know like as a cute like cover up you know if it gets chilly with like a top like this or I was actually gonna wear this with like my tennis skirt that I had gotten from guest style a few hauls back I've yet to do that I'm just I'm excited about the sweatshirt I'm excited to just lounge in it and wear it put it over my shoulders and all those things you can do with a sweatshirt this is it's so cute and I think the material is very soft it's sweatshirt like like plushy but not super thin which I'm so thankful for at this point because the other sweatshirts I own are kind of a little too thick so if it's hot out it looks ridiculous if I'm wearing like heavy sweat material but this one is like it's heavy enough to keep me warm if it's like breezy out but like not so heavy that like I'll be dying you know so I'm very happy with that yeah it's just super soft and very good quality well made crew neck yeah not much to say about this but I love it so much so yeah, I hope you liked my haul. Let me know in the comments below which piece is your favorite, if you actually have it too. I definitely want to do a styling video with a bunch of the stuff that I've gotten in the last few months. I don't plan to shop anymore, honestly, and I just want to start like doing styling videos with like what I have, which I think will be really fun. Follow me on Instagram because I'm starting to post like more of like what I wear on there. So yeah, like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.